Welcome into Forward Progress right here on the Hammer Betting Network, presented, as always, by Pinnacle Sportsbook. I'm Rob Pizzola, and today we're going to be looking at the Taylor Swift props posted at Pinnacle for Super Bowl 58 between the Chiefs and the 49ers. Now, full disclosure here, I don't listen to Taylor Swift. I'd be hard-pressed to name five Taylor Swift songs. My knowledge of pop culture is basically a zero out of 100, but I don't discriminate. My sister loves Taylor Swift. The world loves Taylor Swift. And I'm very well aware that this is a huge talking point for this year's Super Bowl. So I've brought in the biggest Swifty that I know. Most of you watching will know him as one of the best hockey analysts out there. But he is an even bigger Swifty. Dom Lucision from The Athletic joins me here on Forward Progress. Dom, how's it going? Good. What, uh, what an intro. Uh, this is definitely the, the oddest betting segment I've ever been a part of. <laughs> Yes, of course. And same for me as well. Uh, I grew up listening to like Metallica. So doing yeah. Taylor Swift videos, very different for me. But we do have props that we can bet on regarding Taylor Swift at the Super Bowl. We'll get right into them right here, right now. We got the number of camera shots, what color she'll be wearing, whether or not she'll be holding a drink. Let's go through these one by one and let's put our heads together to see if we can extract some value in these situations. So first prop on the board. Number of times Taylor Swift is shown live on the broadcast. The number set at five over is favored. I've been hearing she's been getting roughly like 25 to 26 seconds of TV time on average for Chiefs games when she's been in attendance. So to me, this is like an easy over, in my opinion. Like this is the Super Bowl. She's going to get shown a lot here. Yeah, this this seems like it's not juiced enough at minus 175. Uh, this, is this for, uh, like during the game or is it kickoff to end? Because if the Chiefs win, you got to imagine she'll be shown even more after that. So that is an important consideration to make. But even without that, I feel like five shots of Taylor Swift is, uh, is pretty safe. They've definitely toned it down a bit in recent games. But with a lot of Swifties watching the game specifically to see Taylor Swift, I think... They're going to give the, the fans what they want here. Of course. complete. I mean, this is a different game, right? It's not just football fans that are watching this. This is people who are tuning in for even Usher at halftime and what whatever pop culture comes with it. So I'm with you on that one. Now, the second prop, primary color of her top when first shown after the kickoff. Red is a huge favorite. And I've, I've started to compile some research, <laughs> which is Google Images right here. And lots of red, obviously, at Chiefs games. But I have noticed a couple times black tank top. I've also noticed a white vest. And I'm very interested in this one because this is a game where both teams are wearing, both teams are, are synonymous with red, 49ers mm -hmm. as well. So does she pop in with a red knowing that that's synonymous with the other team as well? I, I think maybe any other color could be worth a shot here. I... When, I, when you sent me these props and I thought it's insane that we're even betting something on what color shirt she's wearing, that was the one that stuck out to me. And the line actually moved heavily towards red. And I was thinking this is the one place where there's huge value because she has worn uh, some black jacket, some black top, she wore a gray sweater as well. She just announced a new album rollout yesterday at the Grammys. And the entire aesthetic is black and white. So I think there's a chance that she stays true to the, the new era that she might wear a more monochrome aesthetic. Uh, the idea that both teams are red means she might want to be different in that case as well. I don't know. It's a, it's a interesting bet. You obviously figure she's probably going to wear red, but in terms of value, plus 376, why not? I'm with you. This is the hard-hitting analysis that I could not have given here. Uh, Taylor Swift shown live holding a drink during the broadcast. This one is pretty close to a pick -em. I honestly don't know. I, I think I've seen her holding a beverage at a previous Chiefs game before, but she's flying back from Japan. She might be jet-lagged, -lag and then she's got to go back out on tour, I believe. So, like, is this the type of environment where she's probably going to be drinking? I don't know, Dom. I'm not. I I'm, I'm thinking no here. I, th I think you're on the right track here, and there's a, there's a bit of info here as well in the sense that she doesn't drink alcohol while she's touring. So a lot of the shots that she's been drinking recently, it's because she had a break from tour and she's been living her best life. But 
now that the tour is back on, probably won't be drinking alcohol. If she has a glass of water, we're, we're boned here, but uh, I'm still leaning towards uh, no for the, for the drink. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. Uh, Taylor Swift to have more camera shots in which half? Now, I'm just thinking as a logic guy here that mm -hmm. typically speaking, she's going to be shown more on camera whenever they're scoring events, right? Yeah. And the second half is favored to have more points over the first half. So I would figure that this is probably just a good line, the way that it's set right now. Yeah, no, no value there. I, I don't know football numbers as well, so I would mostly just message you and say which half is more higher scoring because that's the that's the logic I'm I'm having as well here. So it makes perfect sense. All right, now Taylor Swift wears Usechek's wife. We'll give her a name, Christian Usechek, um, during the game. So the backstory here is Christian Usechek. Kyle Juszczyk's wife, fullback for the 49ers, designs her own jackets. I believe she also did one for uh, Taylor Lautner, a Detroit mm -hmm. Lions one previously as well. And this is the one that you're seeing Taylor Swift wearing here on screen. Now, the question is, like, whether or not this is the type of jacket that is going to be worn indoors, right? Because this is in Vegas, indoor, dome. I honestly don't see it happening. I think it would be a good gesture. But I, I think maybe like no minus 400, even though it's a big favorite, might be valuable. Here. Yeah, I think, number one, she's not an outfit repeater. She's not going to wear the same jacket, so it'd have to be something new. And I think the the fact he, Travis Kelsey, is going up against uh, Juszczyk in this game makes it a bit difficult to see a rep in something from the other team. It might be a good faith thing. And I imagine they'll meet at some point during the game and take a photo, but I, uh, I don't see, uh, I don't see her going back to the, the well there. There you go. Not an outfit repeater right out of Dom's <laughs> mouth. Um, again, not something I would have known, uh, who will say Taylor Swift first, Jim Nance or Tony Romo. I, I mean, Jim Nance is, is the, the play-by-play -play guy. And, and Tony Romo's the color analyst. Now, this is a little bit tricky because Tony Romo's infatuated with Taylor Swift as well. He, br he brings her up a lot on broadcast. But usually, the play-by-play the -play guy will give the lead-in. Yeah. So I'm inclined to say it's going to be Nance here. Yeah, the, that makes sense. Tony Romo's love affair with her uh, makes it closer to a pick -em, But you got to go still with the play-by-play the -play guy here. All right, and the final prop on the board, will Taylor Swift be shown before 7.30 on the game clock of the first quarter, but after the first kick? So in between 15 minutes on the clock and 7.30 on the clock in the first quarter, ah, my gut is yes. My, my, the only scenario where I think it doesn't happen is if San Francisco gets the ball first mm -hmm. and they go on a long drive that kills clock. And you're not a football guy, Dom, but but – that's within the realm of possibility. San Fran does like to run the ball pretty heavily. Kansas City doesn't defend the well, the run well. So I could see that happening, but I think that's the only scenario where this can happen. Yeah, uh, I think in like previous games, they'll be like, oh, and Taylor Swift is here, and they'll show her after the kickoff. But because this is a bigger game, they might do that before the kickoff. Um, and then something like that happening where there's a very long opening drive, I feel like there there might be a little value on the no in that sense, but I don't know. It's it's probably a close call, and there's there's better bets out there if you want to be betting Taylor Swift props uh, for the Super Bowl. Well, there you have it. We've covered the Taylor Swift props with the biggest Swifty, or at least one of them on the planet, in Dom Lucision from The Athletic. You can check out all of his stuff, which is mostly hockey, but he does tweet Taylor Swift stuff as well if you do want to follow him. His X address is right up there on screen. That's going to be it for us here on Forward Progress today. To bet these Taylor Swift props, check out Pinnacle Sportsbook in Canada. It's a sportsbook that I truly cannot recommend enough. If you do sign up at Pinnacle, make sure to use code HAMMER as it does help support us here on the Forward Progress channel. And as always, ensure that you're playing responsibly and within your limits, especially for the Super Bowl. For more content leading up to the Super Bowl, sub to our channel below. Turn on notifications by clicking that bell icon. And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to smash that like button down below as well. Enjoy Super Bowl 58, everyone. Peace out.